Hi guys, welcome back to week 5 for the outdoor plants. So I figured that probably I've been using the microphone wrong. So now I'm testing it again and it sounds better. So yeah, I will jump right in. This is the Alocasia longiloba. The new leaf has expanded bigger than the previous leaf. Yeah, but somehow I realized this has a more pronounced frame. What do you call it? The, the, this, this border line. Yeah, compared to the biggest one here, it doesn't have any of that. Mm. This one does, but it's not as thick. This one too. But this one somehow is quite thick. And also, there's a new leaf sprouting. Yeah. And the comb is um, just remaining like that. I'm not sure whether it will continue growing or whether I have to do something to it. Oh, wow, there's another comb here. Nice. I hope both of them activates by itself. I'll, I'll just leave them be. <laughs> Next is the Alocasia sariana. This was the previous leaf that you guys saw. And this was the leaf that just came out you guys saw last week. Look at how big it is. <laughs> so beautiful. It's not by a lot. But it's still, you know, enough to make it look way bigger in real life. Yeah, so about two hand. This is about 1.5, and I don't see any new shoot yet. Although it is forming in here, I remember how long it took for the shoot to form in order to get this leaf. So probably it will take um about the same time frame as that, and uh, or maybe slightly longer. Yeah, and I also saw someone posted a nine months old uh sarian. And it was really, really huge. Just, just this lobe, just one lobe itself is already just the length of his face. <laughs> Next is the Caladium 1. And Caladium 1, this is the new leaf that is unfurling for the first plant. And the second plant is coming out as well. Yeah, so this is improving. The condition is much better. And also, by the way, uh, those, pot, those pots with holes on the sides i actually covered them because lately it's been really cold and also very windy and when it gets hot it really gets hot and it can be on the same day itself so when that happens um the media gets really 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 dry so what happened was one day i watered them and literally the next day the soil was very dry a few inches deep yeah so I got shocked and had to water immediately and also cover the holes up to prevent that from happening again. Yeah. And now after since after covering the media is still moist. So much difference. And it's been two days since I watered them. And next is the Alocasia poly. Um this one, the biggest leaf already died. And then the latest leaf was this. There's no new change in this. However, I feel that this uh, one is growing very, very slowly. I'm not sure why, because the Amazonica is thriving so well. And I just noticed that the leaves are not as green as it used to be. Actually, I wanted to transfer it down, but I already tied it, so, <laughs> so I was procrastinating to bring it down. But either way, I'm not sure whether that is actually the problem. Uh, so I guess we'll just see. And next is the new Caladium that I got, which is Caladium Red Berry. Yep, this is a new plant, but it's still adjusting. I'm not surprised if I will lose these two leaves first. Maybe this one. This one is doing okay. And the shoot uh, has not opened up since then. But the stalk is really, really thick though. Look at the. Yeah, there's a. Uh, this one is the one that I replaced the Caladium 2. And the next is the Caladium Lindenii. The new leaf is coming out. Yay! I cannot wait to see how big, it, how much bigger it will get <laughs> compared to this. <laughs> and next is the Alucasia Mello. So apparently this one, last week or last two weeks, I mentioned about the shoot looking very stuck. It was actually very, very stuck. So they actually damaged themselves in the sheath, it, it couldn't come out. 
and then died and then another one formed and then uh, that's that's the latest one that formed so there was actually one shoot that died inside the shift uh, so now uh, so I, I had to kind of pry it open now it's actually out of the shift yeah but I'm not sure whether it will grow properly or not next is the Alokasa Silver Dragon yeah this is the latest leaf you guys saw last week look at how beautiful the new leaf is and it's longer slimmer kind of looking more like a dragon head now uh, yeah beautiful and there's already a new shoot out there and also there is a flower forming yeah so i will have to cut the flower because i don't want the plant to spend all the energy on the flower and i want it to focus on making more leaves instead next is the alocasia dragon scale so yeah this is the latest leaf finally it's actually coming out a big one and there's also a new shoot there i think there's another one growing somewhere yeah oh yeah 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 there this one somehow died when it was growing and now there's a new shoot coming out from it hey So next is the Alocasia Lautabakiana. And yeah, this is a new, the latest leaf. And it is already longer than the previous leaf. Yeah, slimmer though, but I, I have a feeling that it's still growing. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see this plant in this form. It's so amazing how it grew from being bolt to this. I uh, don't see any new shoot yet. Next is the Caladium Hilo Beauty. Yeah, this is a new leaf. And for a new leaf that is still unfurling, it kind of uh, looks quite big. So maybe this will finally get bigger than the others. Yeah. And next is the Colocasia Lime Gecko. The latest leaf is way bigger than the previous leaf. Yahoo! No new leaf yet, but the shoot is definitely forming. Yep. Next is the Alocasia Infernalis. Um, no change yet for this, but still looking okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next is the Colocasia Black Magic. So once a month, there will be someone who cleaned the whole building with a um, water jet. So what happened was that guy jetted my leaf and it became like this. Man! And this is the new plant that sprouted from the mother plant. And it's very, very cute. And there's already a new bigger leaf coming out. And also, apparently, there's another plant coming out. Yeah! <laughs> So, I mean, I'm not going to think about separating them. I'm just going to let them get bushy in this pot. <laughs> and the mother plant has a new leaf coming out. And it looks like it's going to be a huge one. Yeah. And last is the uh, Alocasia Amazonica. Yeah. I'm not sure what's with the autofocus with this phone. So, yeah. Um... There's, uh, every single time I look down here, there's always a new leaf coming out. And by the time it really gets lost uh, in this whole massive plant, it's, it's super bushy and it's really hard for me to update you guys which is which. <laughs> but this one is really amazing. Look at how much bushy it got. I actually wanted to transfer it somewhere, you know, maybe replace the infernalis. Yeah, but this one too, I actually already tied it. So, <laughs> yeah. And why I tied it? Because when there are strong winds, this will topple over. And regarding this plant, about the weird growth, the weird growth actually just um, fall over like that. 
So up till now, I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah, that's it for the week five outdoor plants. And I will probably begin to commence my plan to fill up the gaps in between. Maybe one plant every week or two. Yeah, since uh, these are all doing better. But it's not that easy to find plants like this in this category that can withstand the direct sun for a few hours. So I will have to select properly. So I'll see you guys next for the week 6 Master Bedroom Plants. Let's see how it grows. Bye.